Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Denisa Bundes. This is my team. She's Nadia Ponte. Josh Kinnett. Sergio Garcia. Okay, well, our goal today was to build this tar crane. We had to design a crane that had a, the mast, which is the last part in the center, at least 18 inches. The jib had to be from the center of the crane to the end, at least 18 inches. And from this center to this center, had to be at least six. So I went through the process of designing our mast. Our mast, we, in the beginning, we wanted to really do a three sided. I mean, that's what you see everywhere triangles, which are pretty sturdy. The only problems that we couldn't really get it together with the, with the hot glue, so we decided four sided. We were originally going to have a wider base, yet we narrowed down our or how much popsicle sticks we used by cutting them in half, so that allowed us to conserve approximately 18% of our sticks. And of course, you can see here our jib. The way I designed her, I, I'm the person the one that designed the jib. Uh, they put all it together, but I was the main head behind it. <laughs> and uh, the way we incorporated it is we just like we made like a little space here and just glued it in. But the actual design of the jib itself, I wanted to take advantage of the fact that we basically just have like a, eight joists all glued together. So I took advantage of the fact that if you have one joist here, that's pretty sturdy. If you have eight of them together, you have, you get that sturdiness, which uh, helps to. Uh, Basically, carry more load with less deflection. As you can see, eight joists together. And of course, it's all hot glue together because that was the one that would provide the most sturdiness with uh, the least amount of drying time. Okay, and this tower right here, if you see on actual cranes, um, this provides like the string provides this um, support on the jib. So if um, you have a weight here and a counterweight here, so it doesn't really bend and break. This like adds the support for the weight. It basically just keeps everything together. So instead of going down, this pulls it back up, sort of. That's like a tension force that pulls it back up together to uh, resist the deflection that the load and counter load puts on the actual arm. <coughs> oh, oh, so even before testing, we wanted to make sure our crane would sustain the weight. So we calculated the moment of the 200 grams that we're gonna hang off the jib, and we found out that our ideal weight for uh, the carry was about 466.8. And, um, but we noticed that our crane would also kind of lean forward because of the long jib, so we also had to calculate that. So our new counterweight came out to be about 504.01 to counterbalance the crane itself. So. Okay. Any questions? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, we do actually have a question. Oh no, uh, just high five. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I love that. Okay, group three. Sorry, group three. You guys don't get the point. I'm just going in order. <laughs> I'm going to do like five. I know it's pretty. I'm going to do like five. I'm going to do like five.